On today's first look, we have three cars from Fast and Furious, and we have Craig Lieberman here to help us tell us all about these. These are lot numbers 1263, 1264, and 1265. Craig, tell us a little bit about these. Well, these cars, like all the Fast and Furious cars, have found a place in the collector car market, and people are just going crazy about these cars. Anything to do with Fast and Furious, people are gobbling them up, and people are fighting over them now. So yeah. it's fun to see these cars come across the auction block, and I'm sure there's going to be a lot of rabid fans out there bidding. Well, you helped us introduce the Supra that we sold at the Las Vegas auction. Everybody was speculating what it would bring at hammered 500, 550 with buy fee. So these cars are on the uphill. You're absolutely right. Tell us a little bit of details about the three. Lot 1263, this is the 1949 Chevy Fleet Line, which is one of the most iconic and some would say controversial cars of the Fast and Furious franchise. If you remember this, this is from the opening scene of The Fate of the Furious which was the eighth movie in the saga. This car is shown with Vin Diesel racing it through the streets in Cuba against a black Ford Fairline. Very memorable scene. Since the movie has been featured in many video games and many toys have been produced in its likeness, it is one of two to survive out of, I think we had 10 of these things, and it was the forward driving car with the most screen time for the scene. Production teams actually customized and painted many parts to appear rusted and old, but in fact, it's custom made from start to finish with effects applied to make it look old. Next, we have this, lot number 1264. This is the 1956 Ford Fairline. Since it's a race car, it needs to look the part. So basically, it's just painted black with a racing seat. It's also fitted with a roll cage for safety and a drift brake for movie action scenes, if you remember that scene and how it was used. But the engine and transmission were removed to be used in another car after movie production, which is not uncommon. Lot 1265, this is presented as a 1987 Buick Grand National recreation because it wasn't an actual Grand National. This car was used in the movie Fast and Furious 4 and was driven also by Vin Diesel. This one is powered by a turbocharged 3.8 liter engine made into an automatic transmission. The suspension was lowered a little bit and adjusted for some of the driving maneuvers and stability as you saw on camera. It was also fitted with some typical safety equipment and performance equipment like custom wheel with brakes, a fuel cell, hood pans, and racing wheels. On the key car list, it's classified as the wheelie car by the production team, and it was fitted with a full roll cage. Each of these Fast and Furious movie cars will be selling at no reserve at our Scottsdale 2022 auction this January, the 22nd through the 30th, where we're celebrating 50 years of the world's greatest collector car auctions. Come and pick up a piece of movie history. See you there.